There is a silent move that exerted great influence in pop culture. Not only shaped science fiction cinema, but gave the visuals for great artists like Queen, Michael Jackson, Madonna, Beyonce, Lady Gaga, and more. Hi, my name is Henrique, and today we'll talk how Metropolis inspired a generation of pop stars, and I will show you all the music videos that use elements from this movie. Released on 1927, the story is set on a dystopian future in the city of Metropolis in the faraway year 2000. The capitalist society evolved to a deeply divided world, where the riches live at the top of huge luxurious skyscrapers, while a mass of enslaved workers live in the underground, servicing great machines that power the city. The young Freder falls in love with the beautiful Maria, a spiritual leader of the workers. Freder is the son of Frederson, the city ruler who hired the mad scientist Rotwain to prevent a worker rebellion. Then he creates an android who impersonates Maria, but soon is revealed that Rotwain plans to revenge against Frederson and want to destroy Metropolis. In the end, Freder serves as a mediator between his father and the leaders of the working class. Despite being censored on the release, the script, which has a book version and was wrote by Tia von Harbo hasn't the greatest story with a profound discussion, giving to dates like any blockbuster criticizing capitalist exploration in a romanticized way. At the time, this is one of the things criticized on the mixed reviews. In general, everyone agrees that the text isn't what makes people to remember the movie, but it's the visuals that shape the cinema's vision of the future. Metropolis is one of the greatest German expressionist movies, which is one of the several artistic movements from the Roaring Twenties. German expressionism uses non-realistic sharp forms and gothic principles to portray obscure scenarios. Other modernist styles in the movie is Art Deco, the prevalent aesthetic of the cities of that time, Futurism, the avant-garde that glorifies industrialism, and Bauhaus scholars like Paul Citroën, who made a photographic montage entitled Metropolis, Miss van der Rohe and his buildings, and Oscar Schlemmer with his masks. Pay attention that these aesthetics will be present on the music videos that I will show. Although director Fritz Lang name always pop up, the responsible for the films are Direction War, Otto Hunt, Eric Kettlehut, and Carl Wolbrecht. Carl Fraun was the cinematographer and the sculptor Walter Schuss Mirendorf designed the robot costume. The film was extremely expensive and had little financial success. Since the release, there have been several several cuts and the full version is still missing. Although in 2008 it was found a print that could not be fully restored, with just some minutes missing. Over the decade it has always been celebrated as a silent film classic. Before we continue, please don't forget to like the video so I can know what themes you guys like the most. The definitive entry into pop music came in 1984 with Giorgio's Moroder's Cut. Moroder's version of Metropolis was the first serious attempt to restore Lang's original version. He added frame by frame and created a new original score based on rock music, with big stars of that time like Freddie Mercury. He told that David Bowie wanted to restore too, but Moroder ran to do it first, buying the rights. He did an extensive search around the world to discover the missing parts. It premiered on Cannes Festival, and besides the effort, this project receive poor reviews, many criticizing for not being faithful to the original. The film was nominated for two Raspberry Awards, Worst Original Song and Worst Musical Score. <laughs> At least Bon Tyler was nominated for the Grammys. Queen's engagement in the project would inspire them to make the Radio Gaga music video, a song wrote by Roger Taylor against the corporatization of radio stations. The interspersed scene is from Metropolis with reenactments of iconic scenes like the labor around the clock and the activation of the machine manch. This is one of the first rock videos to not focus on bands playing and it's the most famous to revere the film. Save this information that I'll come back to talk about again. Queen wasn't the first band to use directed references from Metropolis. In the 70s, Bebop Deluxe used a picture of the Machine Man and Kraftwerk not only had a song titled Metropolis on the famous electronic album Dimension Machine, but for sure the song Robots has a relation too. In the 
the 80s, we had two of the greatest music videos using the working class of Metropolis visuals. River Nation by Janet Jackson uses military styles, uniforms in an industrial post-apocalyptic city, featuring some of the most memorable choreography in pop video history. In the same year, Madonna would go deeper into Metropolis with Express Yourself, recreating scenarios of the movie, perhaps the most recognized to do that, and remains one of the most expensive music videos of all time. It's not coincidence that Christina Aguilera would be inspired by Madonna in Metropolis in Not Myself Tonight from an album called Bionic. Janet and Madonna videos are so influential that for sure reinforces the influence of the movie into the pop culture. The next examples I will bring focus on the Machine Manch figure and can explain more clearly why so many works have a string on Metropolis. Like did you ever question at who invented the robot concept? The term robot was introduced in the book R.U.R. but the notion of a humanoid machine was developed and popularized by three books, which Future Eve not only coined the term Android, but has a story highly similar to Maria's Machina Mensch. Looking some illustrations in the first movies ever made, we see some examples of what the design of a mechanical man would look like. But was Metropolis the first to show an elegant and sophisticated version of a human robot? And that's why Machina Mensch design is so important and well known. Through the years we have from modest inspirations like Autography's Turn Up the Radio and Busta Rhymes' What's It Gonna Be to more direct ones like This YNT covered album and Michael Jackson's dangerous cover showing a scenario of industrial machines. He also used his inspired outfit on the opening of History Tour from Bodyguard's movie. Whitney Houston dresses like Machine Man she on Queen of the Night. The video even includes scenes of Metropolis on the screen. Other inspired look was done by Kylie Minogue on Kylie Fever 2002 made like a real machine. Some years after, Beyoncé would recycle the idea on this BET Awards performance, taking more close to the Machine Manch design. She also used a variation on the Experience Tour and I Am Tour features some visuals with this Thierry Mugler's outfit from an editorial by Karl Lagerfeld in honor to Metropolis for Vogue Germany. Now I want to invite you to subscribe my channel to help my work. I'm posting videos about music every week. The next two artists used Metropolis extensively, starting with Lady Gaga, who helped his name from Radio Gaga song. On the paparazzi era, Gaga acted as Machine Manch for Dave LaChapelle and for the song's video. Alejandro's inspiration on Madonna's Express Yourself didn't escape it, the references, of course. Many say that Born This Way have some similar visuals to the film too, and again, the Android concept is used in You and I. Applause took the Metropolis workers look and referenced another famous scene where the false Maria is entertaining the workers. And the other singer is Janelle Monet, who created a musical saga based on Metropolis. In her story, she is seen in Mayweather, a rebel android helped by her human lover Anthony Grindel against the oppressive droid control system. Janelle became more popular in her last album Dirty Computer, which is not part of the saga, but all her other albums is linked and divided in switches. I love this Janelle story. Leave a comment below if you want me to make a video about it, or if you have another suggestion. The last reference I remember to watch was Ariana Grande's 34 plus 35 doing the Machine Man she transformation and Katy Perry using his golden outfit on the Witness Tour. In the description you can find the Masters of Cinema edition of Metropolis, which has a bunch of special features like documentaries and the original score. Also, I'm giving you free 30-day trial on Amazon Prime. It's important to say that some examples I brought here you don't think I like because sometimes these references aren't intentional. But as I show it, some things are unavoidable. Like every humanoid design after Metropolis has some link to the Machine Manch because it was the first to design a modern look for an android. Some draws like the sexy robot that appears on the Aerosmith cover or Star Wars C3PO, Blade Runner City, and what we know as Cyberpunk as 
aesthetic as definitely I streamed on Metropolis. This is something spoke by directors and designers. In my opinion, costumes like this will I end from the end tour, or these Chloe and Hale performances can be easily linked to the movie too. Don't forget to check my last video about the Global Music Report, and all the references I used is on my pinned comment. Thank you for watching and see you soon!